Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited for this video. We have a fun Bath & Body Works video and it's also a collab video with my friend Sam, Glam by Sam here on YouTube. So we are going to be sharing our top scents from Bath & Body Works to start your collection. So if you guys are collecting fragrance mist, you're just getting into Bath & Body Works and you want to know what's good, what are some of the best scents that you can get right now, this video is for you. I chose 10 cents because <laughs> it's so hard to narrow down for me. I just have so much in my collection that I love, but I wanted to stick to scents that you can get right now in stores, at least for the next few months because some of these might be limited but I didn't want to include like stuff that you have to buy from resellers and stuff like that. I wanted to show the best that you can get right now if you're in stores or online shopping. So I'm doing this video with Sam and she is actually from the Netherlands which is so cool because I am actually Dutch myself. It's my dream to go there one day and they just opened a Bath & Body Works there. Like I guess they didn't have it prior. I know they're pretty widely available but sometimes can be hard to get if you're not in the United States so I'm so excited to see what she is going to choose I wonder if they have like the same scents as we do or what the story is with that definitely go check out her video after this I will link it down below she does a lot of more makeup reviews I know she reviews a lot of Charlotte Tilbury she always has like the Charlotte Tilbury stuff before it launches here in the States which is really cool and a lot of other luxury makeup I'm really excited to be doing this video with her today so let's go ahead and get started. So I know a lot of you guys are OG Bath & Body Works people like me. I've been doing Bath & Body Works videos for I feel like nine or ten years at this point so I'm very very knowledgeable with all the different scents that are out. I know some of you guys probably have these already but um, I just want to kind of talk about these especially like their signature collections I feel like I don't give much love to. On the usual I'm always talking about the new collections so these are the mists that I would definitely recommend if you guys are just getting into it or want to add to your collection with some stuff maybe you you haven't tried these are the best of the best in my opinion I tried to choose a wide variety of stuff but these are still products that I love and will never get rid of in my collection I've seen a lot of these videos too a lot of people have done them some of my favorite fragrance people like Ksenia here on YouTube as well as Natalie Grace has done this Michaela so many people have done this video so I just wanted to give my thoughts as well enough with the intro I know that was really long let's get into my first scent this is into the night I think this is for sure a must-have scent. This smells like a perfume. Like you will notice a lot of these scents, these are some of the strongest in my collection, some of the ones that smell expensive and like you can get these mists for a really good deal. I know it seems like more expensive when you look at the price tag $14.50 if you're buying full price but Bath & Body Works has sales a lot which is awesome. Like they do $5.95, $6.50 fragrance mist sales a lot. So I would definitely try to catch those deals. So right now this is one of their signature scents and I call them signature because they're the ones that kind of stick around. They don't leave as soon as some of their more limited edition collections, but that doesn't mean this won't be discontinued, but this is such a popular one from them. I think they would keep it around. Uh, the notes for Into the Night are alluring blend of dark berries, midnight jasmine, and rich amber. This smells amazing. Amazing. It's for me more of like a nighttime going out type of scent. It smells very rich. You get the sweetness of the amber in here and it just smells like a perfume. Um, if you guys are familiar with Dark Kiss, I feel like they're kind of sister scents, but I like this one a lot more. It has a lot of depth to it. It's very sexy and it's so strong like you will smell this all night on the skin, especially if you layer it with like the body lotion or body cream. You will be smelling so good. Next one I'm going to talk about. This is probably one of my all-time favorites. This is In the Stars. This is another signature collection item. So this is usually around in the stores year-round. It has multiple forms. And they recently just changed the packaging on this one. I think it is absolutely beautiful. So In the Stars is my go-to. If I was going to pick one signature scent from them, this is it. The notes are Starflower, Sandalwood Musk, Sugar Tangelo, White Agarwood, and Radiant amber. I'm not like so familiar with a lot of those notes. I just know that this one reminds me a lot of Baccarat Rouge 540 which is like a $400, $300 or so perfume um, and that's kind of why this is so popular because it smells that expensive. It's not super heavy. It has an airy essence to it. 
sometimes it, I compare it to cloud like I know a lot of people say it's not really a dupe for cloud and I don't think it does smell like it exactly on initial spray but when people are wearing it I cannot tell the difference between this and cloud on people's skin from like the Ariana Grande cloud if you guys know that one but yeah, it smells amazing. It has some sweetness to it. I love the sandalwood in here. Some people say this is kind of unisex as well, which I could see that too. I think it could be hit or miss, but for the most part, I think a lot of people do like this one. So that one is in the stars and it is my all-time favorite. All right, I'm going to skip on over to something really sweet. This is for if you guys like to smell like a dessert. I know not everyone loves foodie scents. I do. And this is a Bath & Body Works classic in my opinion this is strawberry pound cake they bring this back pretty much in every collection for a reason because it is just that good the fragrance notes on this one are fresh strawberries golden shortcake and whipped cream and this truly does smell like a dessert I, it really reminds me of a strawberry shortcake it is so fruity you get that cakey note in here as well it is just delicious i also smell like whipped cream one of my favorite of all time, just foodie scents that Bath & Body Works has done. And if you want to smell like a strawberry shortcake dessert, this you need in your collection. All right, let's skip over to something a little more new. This is a limited fragrance. You can get it right now, though, in stores and online. This is the Whipped Berry Meringue. And I picked this one because this is kind of a dupe of Boardwalk Taffy from Bath & Body Works, which you can't get that one anymore. But that one is such a love scent. This one smells pretty much identical to it. The notes are fresh berries, whipped sugar, and fluffy vanilla. And again, if you guys like really sweet foodie scents, this one just smells like sugary cotton candy goodness. It is so pretty. It has a berry note in here that makes it a little bit fruity, but really it does remind me truly of like cotton candy. So I did want to put this one as a must have since this one is so loved in the community, at least Boardwalk Taffy is, but since that one's hard to find, you must try this one for all my sweet fragrance lovers. Okay, next up, I'm kind of cheating here. This is a perfume, but I'm going to say I would definitely recommend the mist in this one as well. So I did have the mist, but I decluttered it because I got the perfume. I just don't feel the need to have both. So Bath & Byrx does have perfumes of their different scents, usually from the signature collections that you can buy in stores. They're just a little bit more expensive, but the mist in this is incredible as well. So this one is You Are The One. I feel like this is such a staple in the fragrance community because this smells so strong it's one of the strongest Bath & Body Works scents and this is one that I did not love at first it was definitely an acquired scent because I used to hate anything floral now I've kind of opened up and I have started to like more sweet florals as my scent preferences have changed and grown over the years and now I really love this one and I see why this is so popular especially for the longevity that it is I've heard people comparing this to Lancome's Idol perfume this one has a rose scent to it so it is very floral but it also has a little bit of sweetness it has a strawberry nectar as one of the notes that makes it a little sweet you're the one a must-have especially if you guys do like sweet florals you need that one in your life okay I had to include this one as well in this video and this one is a newer one um, it's been out before but this is such a raved about scent and I love it too and I think it makes a nice addition to your fragrance mist collection this one is white t-shirt I feel like this you'll definitely want to run out and grab now because I could see this one selling out this is more of your fresh laundry scent which I feel like everyone can use at least one of those in your collection and this one is definitely my favorite it's like laundry smelling but it's still perfumey like I still feel like it's great to wear out for every day you just smell clean fresh delicious the notes on this one are crisp pear fresh white t-shirt lavender cloud clean musk and soft sandalwood and yeah it just smells like your laundry detergent but also it has a perfume essence to it that makes it so gorgeous. I think everyone needs this one in their collection. It's one of my top, top favorites. I hope they continue to bring this back, but this one is limited at the moment, so I would grab it while you can. Next scent, I had to include this one because it is such a classic. This is like 90s Bath & Body Works. This is warm vanilla sugar, and 
I know that this one isn't super popular as of now. We've had a lot of vanilla and sweet sugary scents come out, but it's still a favorite of mine forever. Um, I do I do know that this one is pretty light, so it's definitely one you want to layer and spray quite a bit of. The notes are intoxicating vanilla, white orchid, sparkling sugar, fresh jasmine, and creamy sandalwood. And this has just been around for many years and it's still in the Bath & Body Works collection, their signature collection. And it's such a different vanilla than anything I have. I just smell it and I'm instantly brought back. This is a scent I really like for bed because it's very warm and cozy smelling. It's actually made with vanilla extract, I guess. But yeah, it's unfortunate that it is lighter. Apparently the older mist used to be a lot stronger, but this is the one that I have. And sometimes it's nice just to have a little bit of a lighter scent for bedtime. So that's what I like to wear it as, but such a classic. I would definitely recommend it um, in your collection, especially if you love vanilla. All right, this is a retired scent but it is still available online sometimes they have their retired scents online some of their classics this is almond blossom and this is so pretty it's very sweet but it has a little bit of a floral essence to it the notes on this one are sweet almond oil blended with vanilla orchid and cashmere musk it's definitely kind of a warmer scent but it smells so good and it's not too like sickenly sweet. I like that it has the florals in there. This one reminds me a lot of the Philosophy Fresh Cream Warm Cashmere. Those pair really well together, by the way, if you kind of know that one and you can know that this one smells very similar. Okay, next fragrance. This one is Fairy Tale. I had to include Fairy Tale because this one is such a heavy, strong scent. And it's actually a dupe of the YSL Libra. Libre, Lieb, I don't know how to say it, perfume. <laughs> um, this one has notes of pomegranate nectar, fresh orange blossom, vanilla bean, and warm amber. All these notes together just make this gorgeous scent. It's a warm floral. I definitely get the zest of a little bit of orange in there, but it is beautiful, and I can't believe how close it is to the YSL perfume. So you don't need to buy the $80 YSL. You can pair them together if you want. Uh, this mist is just as good. It's so strong, too. I absolutely love Fairy Tale. So definitely a floral scent. You have to like those warm florals to enjoy this one, but it has enough sweetness in it for me that makes it a top favorite and a must-have. Hopefully this sticks around for a while. This is, as of now, one of their signature collections. Last but not least, it was so hard to pick what I wanted to do as this one, but I wanted to go with another signature scent because I wanted to do as many of those as possible since those usually stick around longer. And this one has really stolen my heart. This is Gingham Heart of Gold. So they have the original Gingham, which is actually very popular like you guys might like that one i did not include it because it's not my favorite it is a very fresh floral so you guys might like that one but they've been making some different flankers i guess you would say of gingham they have the love one that's out for valentine's day but my favorite is heart of gold this one has notes of crisp golden apple creamy vanilla bean and warm sandalwood this one is so sweet and so pretty it's totally different from the original gingham it might have a little bit of that freshness in there but it almost is like a caramely and a little bit of a fresh apple kind of scent this is actually a dupe for well not exact dupe but very close to one of my favorite perfumes from Juicy Couture, which is the Gold Couture. That's what this reminds me of, which is really interesting because this is gold. That one says gold. I don't know. Maybe they were trying to dupe it. I feel like Bath & Byers dupes a lot of high-end perfumes, and I feel like the Juicy Couture is a little bit more sweet, and this one has, it's like that, adding a little bit of a fresh apple in there. So beautiful. I love this one. I would highly recommend it, especially if you guys like sweeter scents. I think you will really like it. So that is the Gingham Heart of Gold. And that is actually going to complete this top 10 list. There's a lot more I could include, but I didn't want to go too crazy. These are the ones that I would definitely start out with but that is gonna be it for this video today uh, definitely don't forget to check out Sam her channel and video will be linked down below I'm so curious to see what her picks are also let me know down below what some of your must-haves are for starting your Bath & Byers collection I'm so curious to know I do have so many other favorites too that I didn't mention because they're like discontinued or limited edition I plan to show you guys my full collection very soon as well so probably in the next couple weeks you will see that i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys